hi everyone so god is saying that there's certain things that you don't even see there's certain attacks that come to other people but they don't come to your household because there's something that has been placed there there is certain blood that has been put there that is why such is happening here when you read in the book of exodus chapter 12 verse 7 the bible says then they are to take some of the blood and put it on the sides and tops of the door frames of the houses where they eat the lambs and then verse 12 the bible says on that same night i will pass through egypt and strike down every firstborn of both people and animals and i will bring judgment on all the gods of of egypt i am the lord the blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are and when i see the blood i will pass over you no destructive plague will touch you when i strike egypt so you can see here god was telling them that they must put the blood of the lamb on the sides of the doorpost they must be putting it on the doorpost because disaster was about to come disaster was about to come and strike and god was saying that that blood was going to serve as a sign that no you can't be touching this once disaster can't strike this household so god is also saying that some of you your enemies are shocked as to how are you surviving all these things how are you surviving all their attempts how come you are still there? They don't know that there is the mark of the lamp on your doors. There is the mark of the lamp on your lives. That is why their plans are not working out. That is why when disasters are coming for certain people, they are not coming for you. And also Psalms 91 is applicable to you. God is saying that it will be applicable to you. It says that, you will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by the day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. So you could see from where we were reading in the book of Exodus, now because these people, they had the Lord on their side, they only watched the Egyptian suffering, the Egyptian household suffering because they had the mark of the blood on their side. There was plague around them, but it did not touch them. They only observed it with the their eyes so god is also saying that continue taking shelter in him he is going to preserve you he is going to protect you even if disaster can come god is going to protect you and your household because of this blood god is saying that this blood now you don't even have to be sprinkling this blood of the lamb because now we have jesus jesus christ of nazareth he is the one now who represents the lamb in your life and his blood is so powerful when you are calling on the name of jesus it's similar to you sprinkling that blood as well into your home into your household in the mighty name of jesus god is saying that there's no weapon that is formed against you that is Ever going to prosper because God is saying that there is the blood of Jesus. It's so invisible. You can't see it, but God is saying that it is still there on your doors. It is there on your doors where you are, that blood, and that blood is defending you in the mighty name of Jesus. That blood is saying, not in this household, not here. You can't come here, you disaster, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.